The seventh fruit of the Holy Spirit is faithfulness. The King James Version translated as faith. These two words are intrinsically linked. Faithfulness is a product of faith, and faith is trusting and believing in the faithfulness of God. For this particular study, we will look at this fruit from the aspect of faithfulness. Faithfulness means to be faithful to finish the task God has given to us. It means that we are true to our words and promises, that we are reliable, trustworthy, and steadfast. Someone who is faithful is one who can be counted upon because he has a track record of always doing everything he is asked to do. Anyone who has ever been in the position of giving orders to other people knows what a priceless treasure it is to have someone you can always count on to finish the job. It is such a blessing to know this one will work as hard when you are gone as when you were there watching. This is a description of faithful men or women of God. Faithfulness is really developed through betrayal when other people are unfaithful to us. This creates within us a tremendous desire to be faithful. For Moses to be made faithful, he had to experience betrayal. He had about 3 million people, including men, women, and children, constantly complaining and murmuring against him. Korah and his company even rebelled against him. His brother Aaron and sister Miriam began to criticize him as well. Moses had no one he could turn to except the Lord. Leadership is very lonely walk. However, because of this terrible betrayal of by his people and even his own brother and sister, he earned an internal commendation and accolade by the Lord. The Lord said of him, My servant Moses is faithful in all mine house. Among all these unstable, untrustworthy Israelites, God found a man whom he could count on, Moses. Martin Luther was asked once, If you knew the Lord was coming this week, what would you do? His simple yet profound reply was this, If God had given me the task of planting fruit trees, I trust that when He came, He would find me planting fruit trees. We want to be faithful to do everything that the Lord has commissioned us to do, whether it is great or small. The fruit that epitomizes faith is frankincense. It is a dry sap of trees in the Boswella genus, particularly Boswella sacra. These trees grow in Amman, Yemen, and the Horn of Africa including Somalia and Ethiopia. When dried, the sap is burned as an incense and thought to have several medicine properties. The name of the tree comes from the term franc and sense, which in French for high quality incense. Franc is known to mean pure, while incense comes from the word that means to burn. It was then considered a pure incense and most desirable of all the other types of incense.
It is used as an incense and being burned, confirming to the truth that our faith is tried and tested in fire. Faith is produced in the fire of affliction.